Okay, now let's say I want to zoom in on a particular portion of the screen to make the content look larger. Then all I can do is just triple tap on the screen. This square window pops up, which is going to zoom in on that particular portion of the screen on which I'm going to move the square. As you can see, I'm moving the square around. The content looks pretty large and clearly visible. Now here we have got a menu option. I'll just tap on this. As you can see, this window pops up, which is magnifier size. We have got three different sizes of this magnifier. The extreme left one is a smaller size. Then we have a medium and then we have got a larger magnifier size. Now, if you want to customize this, you can tap on edit to increase or decrease the size depending on your requirement. It need not be a square. You can even make it rectangle and just save it. At the bottom, we have got this zoom in or out slider. Even that can be customized here. Now, this is an amazing feature available on almost all Android phones, including Samsung Galaxy phones. Of course, the feature would be executed much better on One UI. Now, before I go ahead and show you how you can enable this feature, if you're new on the channel and if you want to know your phone better, then this is the channel you need to subscribe to. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this useful. Now, let me just triple tap on the screen again to close this window. Now I'll go to settings. I'll tap on accessibility. We've got visibility enhancements option here. I'll tap on this. At the bottom, we've got magnification settings. Let me tap on this. As you can see, we have got a couple of toggles here. One is to enable the magnification shortcut. Here we have got different modes of executing this function. As you see, we have got use accessibility gesture. If you select this, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen with two fingers to enable magnification. As you can see, I swipe up from the bottom of the screen. The magnification window pops up here. I can again swipe up to close this. Then we've got an option press and hold volume up and down key for three seconds. Then press side and volume up keys and triple tap screen. Now, I would not suggest you to enable this triple tap screen because sometimes let's say you're on YouTube and if you're trying to fast forward the video, the magnification feature gets triggered and uh, this window pops up. So what you can do is you can set the first option, use accessibility gesture. Now let's go back. The next toggle is move with cursor while typing. It says move the magnified area as you type. This isn't supported in all applications. Now let me show you how this works. Let's go to messaging app. I'll tap on new message and tap on this text box and I'm going to magnify this area. Now I'll start typing. The magnified area will keep moving along with the cursor. This magnification feature will be really useful for some people who have got issues reading smaller texts. And it will also be useful for everyone just in case if you want to magnify a portion of the screen or a portion of an image or a portion of a text which is not clearly visible on the screen despite the maximum zoom possible inside the gallery app or any other application. A very useful accessibility feature which you guys should know. That's about it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you have subscribed to the channel already. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.